A day of wind, rain, and tropical fury passing miles off the coast of northeast Florida. Schools, offices, and stores closed as Dorian made its way north. But despite warnings from leaders in nearly every county in our viewing area, dozens of people were out on the beach, some of them even in the water. Tonight, others are examining the damage as Dorian continues up the Georgia coast. As our viewers in Georgia wait and watch to see how Dorian will impact them, our crews in Northeast Florida have spent the day tracking the storm's progress. Yeah, News for Jacks reporter Vic Michelucci was one of those who spent long hours on the ground covering the situation. And before he signed off for the day, he filed this report from Davis Shores in St. Augustine. After what seemed like an eternity, Hurricane Dorian is finally gone from our area. Different effects in different spots. We are in the Davis Shores community. This is on Anastasia Island. It's in the city of St. Augustine. And this is where we saw some of the most significant flooding and effects in North Florida. That's because right over there to the left is the intracoastal waterway, the inlet that takes you out to the ocean, where there was significant storm surge, three to five feet, some big waves, some strong winds. But if you looked at our reports from earlier today, you would have seen us waiting in very deep water. People almost up to their waists. We saw families on kayaks coming through this area. The water did reach some of the homes. Some houses here did have problems where water got inside. We went inside a house where eight inches got into the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, and the bedrooms. That's unfortunate. They've got a lot of work to do to get that water out and do some mold remediation to make sure that their house is okay. They're probably gonna have to rip out some drywall. But the good news is the majority of people here were spared and they tell me today they are so thankful because they have been through some trouble in the past. Hurricane Matthew in 2016, Hurricane Irma in 2017, both of those did a whole lot of damage. When we rode through after those storms, there were piles of debris six feet tall from people gutting their homes. It doesn't look like that's gonna have to happen here. Maybe a few houses, including that white one down there where the water did get in, but for the most part, Everybody is okay. This is a tight knit community. They say that they are going to support their neighbors who are having trouble, who did get some damage. But for the most part, they tell us everything is going to be back to normal very soon. They're gonna stick together and they are breathing a collective sigh of relief. So the waters here will continue to go down throughout the night. They're gonna be down with the low tide. They might come back a little bit with the high tide, but overall, the worst is long gone, and people here say they are thankful and they are fortunate that this storm did not bring any worse damage. In Davis Shores, I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.